May I help you, young man? Help me? Yes, you've been standing in front of this counter for 10 minutes. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm confused. Well, that's understandable. You're confused because it's Christmas time, because you have the Christmas spirit. You're buying Christmas presents, and there's so many different things to look at. Well, that explains why I'm confused in December, but what about the other months? <laughs> I wouldn't know. I'm standing behind this counter because in a moment of wild enthusiasm, I sold my pants. <laughs> See, I, I, I'm, I gotta buy something for my mother and father, and gosh, I, I don't know what to get them. Well, maybe I can help. Looking at you, I can just picture your mother. Small, petite, gentle, with a kindly smile for everyone. Spends most of the time sitting in a rocking chair, knitting. That's my father, and I'll try to guess my mother. <laughs> Boy, does she make him toe the mark? <laughs> You mean your father's afraid of your mother? Oh, everybody's afraid of my mother. Boy, you know, when I was born, the stork left me a block away from the house. It's a good thing I knew the address. Hey, you know, while I'm here, maybe I ought to get something for my boss, Mr. Benny. Well, how about this silk shirt? Oh, yeah, that's nice. That'll be fine. Hi, Dennis. Oh, hello, Mr. Benny. Hi, doing your Christmas shopping, eh? Yeah, I was just gonna buy you a gift, and you had to walk up and spoil the whole thing. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were buying me a gift. Now you'll have to close your eyes. All right, like this. <laughs> okay, mister, you can wrap it up now. And put it in a shoebox so he won't know it's a shirt. 